Leadership is a big word. Are you just a little afraid of it? You know, in your business, you are leading your followers, you're leading your clients, you may even be leading a team. How are you doing? Are you making everyone feel safe? Because you know, that is your job. Why? Because when everyone feels safe, they are willing to get out of their comfort zones. They're willing to take bigger risks and to accomplish more. We're going to look at four ways that good leaders really show up for those that they lead. And it's all based around your own personal strengths. Because you can't be anyone else but yourself. And God designed you perfect for those that you are meant to lead. Join me. Hey there, this is Deneen TV, your Christian business growth strategist and clarity coach. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Let's get into those four growth areas that you can develop to be a better leader. We're going to be talking about building trust, showing compassion, providing stability, and creating hope. Now, before we dive into those four things, though, we have to back it up just a little bit and talk about strengths. What are strengths. Well, strengths are actually talents that you have developed and performed consistently over time so that now you're an expert in that area. In this video, I talk about how they are an outgrowth of your natural talents. You know, those things that come easy to you that you think come easy to everyone, they really don't. That means that you show up as a leader, building trust, showing compassion, providing stability and creating hope and you're doing it in a way that is natural to you using your strengths means doing it in a way that god has not only designed you but also doing it in a way that feels comfortable to you and therefore it's actually more authentic to you so how does this really work well in the calling clarity program we use a tool called strengths based leadership it is from a book by Tom Rath based on the Clifton Strengths Finder. If you know anything about it, then you know there are what they call 34 themes or strengths. And we really should work in our strengths and improve them, not try to work on all of our weaknesses. But you know what? That's another subject for another video. <laughs> in strengths based leadership, in that model, they, they take these 34 themes and they actually break them down into four categories. I love this part because I see how God is working it for our good. Now, how can you say, how would you say, how is God doing that? Well, the four categories, which are called domains, are directly related to how God asks us to actually love him. Jesus told us to love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. These four themes actually correspond to these. So these four themes are executing, influencing, relationship building, and strategic thinking. So I look at it as executing is kind of that strength, you know, getting into action. The influencing is the soul. That's kind of that, that inner inspirational type of thing, right? And then the relationship building is the heart, the feelings, the people, the people skills and then the strategic thinking is the mind because it's it's the intellect and it's solving problems you know executing leaders know how to make things happen they implement solutions they work tirelessly to get things done leaders with strengths in this area have the ability to kind of catch an idea and then make it a reality an influencing leader really helps their team to reach a broader audience. They're always like selling the team's ideas inside and outside of the organization. Leaders with influencing strengths in this area take charge, they speak up, and they make the group heard. Relationship building leaders are the kind of essential glue that holds the team together. Leaders with strengths in this area have the unique ability to create groups and organizations that are much greater than the sum of just their parts. And then strategic thinking leaders are the ones who keep focus 
on what could be. They're constantly absorbing and analyzing information and making and helping others to make better decisions. Leaders with strengths in this area really continually to kind of stretch towards the future. Now, do you see yourself in any of these areas already without even taking any kind of assessment? In which areas do you see your own leadership style? Go ahead and put that down in the comments. Let me know what this has kind of sparked for you. The first place that you identify is usually that primary place and you always have a secondary. So if you feel like you're crossing over a little bit, it's okay. Put that in the comments too. When I look at my own distribution of my top five strengths, I have two in, in the influencing area, which is command and significance, and I have two in the executive area, which is focus and achiever, and then I have one in the strategic thinking, which is input. Now, you may have noticed I don't have anything in the relationship building category. <laughs> it's okay. I can still show up for those that I lead, building trust, showing compassion, providing stability, and creating hope. The most important part of knowing your own strengths is to also know how to leverage the strengths of others that you lead. So it helps you to have your greatest success and for them as well. For example, while someone with no relationship building themes, like me, <laughs> is certainly capable, and I am capable of having meaningful and fulfilling relationships, using these four domains really brings an awareness to your need to partner with people who have what you don't have. So I need to partner with people with strong relationship building themes, which is my business partner, Mary. When I need to have this, I need to find those people and have these relationships because these are of primary concern. Awareness of the areas that are not your greatest strength and knowledge of team members who have that strength in the areas where you're lacking will enable you to really partner in creative ways. So how can you and I give trust, compassion, stability, and hope to those that we lead? Well, by learning more about how God has designed each one of us, how God has designed you. Mary, remember my team member and business partner, her leading strength is in the executing domain, but her other four top strengths are in relationship building. Me, on the other hand, like I said, I am leading with influence, executing, and strategic thinking. So let me break this down for you so you can see how both of us actually show up in one of our own strengths and giving our followers and our clients what they need. So I'm gonna start with my influencing strength of command. This is what I do. I build trust by saying what I mean, not playing games, being direct and doing what I say I'm going to do. I show compassion by expressing deep emotional feelings, allowing others to then open up as well. I use strong words. I state my beliefs and my values, which really bonds us. And I'm able to be vulnerable. How do I provide stability? By letting others know where they stand, connecting strongly to how they feel so that they feel confident that I'm helping them, giving them courage to do what is hard for them, fighting for them, being on their side and giving um, them the feeling that everything is in control. And then creating hope. With my command, I create hope by being gentle yet truthful in what I say, not shying away from giving advice, having those hard conversations, using powerful words to inspire and really paint pictures of future and allow others, my clients, to rise to their potential. That's just in one of my strengths. It's amazing. So let's look on the other side. Let's look at Mary. Let's look at one of her relationship building strengths. She has one that's called empathy. How does she build trust? Well, she builds trust by being able to really articulate and frame complex emotions. She shows respect to others and for others' feelings by allowing them to express themselves. She acknowledges their feelings. She deals with those emotions really honestly. And she has a way of making others feel comfortable sharing their own thoughts and feelings and concerns. 
How does she show compassion with empathy? You might think they're the same word, right? She shows compassion by expressing happiness when others are happy about their accomplishments. She shows appreciation and recognizes others' achievements. She makes that a lasting impression by engaging with and celebrating successes. And she also is able to understand what others are feeling and, and actually ask really great questions to help them to verbalize what's going on. She kind of partners with them in self-discovery. How does Mary provide stability with empathy? Well, by being sensitive to others' feelings, building that bridge of understanding and mutual support. She has patience and understanding. Those are the things that she's really good at. She listens to people in a way that actually promotes really safe spaces for them and makes them peaceful. She creates hope by being a confidant, by encouraging others and putting words to their aspirations, inspiring and guiding them to and toward their dreams. She's able to anticipate events and she actually anticipates reactions to help build positive emotions for the future. You know, this is so beautiful. The, it, in the beauty of understanding strengths is that you can really see the value that each person, each client brings to the table. You're able to show up as your best to lead them and serve those in your sphere of influence. So what are some of the ways that you can use or leverage your own strengths in these four areas? So you can show up in these four areas. So I've got some questions for you. You might want to jot this down. So I have some questions for you to think about in these four areas. So in the area of to build trust, Ask yourself this, how can I use my strengths to help me be approachable and vulnerable as a leader? How can I use my strengths to help me be seen as the leader who lives up to the commitments that I make? Ask yourself this about how to show compassion. How can I use my strengths to make sure that I help people know that they matter? How can I use my strengths to ask more and tell less. To provide stability, ask yourself these two questions. How can I use my strengths to make sure that I am creating clarity for my team, for my clients? How can I use my strengths to make sure that my team feels a sense of stability, my clients feel a sense of stability, even when broader changes are happening? And to create hope ask these questions. How can I use my strengths to help me see the hope in the future before me? How can I use my strengths to spend more time communicating a future hope with my clients, with my team, with my business? How do you think you're showing up for those that you lead? How are you showing up and giving them what they need to feel safe? Building trust, showing compassion, providing stability, and creating hope. Let me know down in the comments how you're doing with this. What thoughts are really like going off in your mind? What questions are sparking there? Put those down in the comments. Let's start a conversation. Discovering your strengths is just one piece of the beautiful mosaic that includes your personality, your expertise, your experiences, your talents, your gifts, and your values. How can you get started? with my leadership quiz. Let it get you moving in the right direction, down that right path toward the business that God wants for you. The quiz gives you insights into the type of leader that you are, a heart, a soul, a mind, or a strength. I'll put that link down in the description for you. You can find out if what you're thinking, the guesses that you're already going through are right. This is Deneen TV. Thank you so much for being here with me. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to comment and answer the questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, be filled to overflowing.